So if a sighted person were to construct it, it might come out looking something like this. Uh, it's not quite the neat puzzle that we had before. So what's happened here? Well, looking at clause 1.1, there's visual methods that have been used to obstruct a sighted person. So that's the colours. As you can see, the bottom layer is yellow, the middle layer is red, the top layer is blue. Um, and second to that, the weight or shape has been used to obstruct the sighted person. So the shapes, although it looks like the blue should go together and the red should go together and the yellow should go together, they, they in fact do not. There is no way for them to lock into place. Um, so that's how this looks so disastrous. Um, and then the third clause is a conspicuous distraction. So I've also written some instructions that go with this. Um, the first step being all yellow pieces must go at the bottom. Second, that all red pieces must form the middle layer. And third, that all blue pieces must form the top layer. So now let's go back to how it would be constructed by a visually impaired person and I'll explain the difference. So addressing how a visually impaired person might put this together, looking at clause 2.2, I've used textures. So this base layer here, all the pieces are glossy. So a visually impaired person can feel that they'll form the base layer. The second layer is not glossy, it has a cardboard texture. And then the top layer is styrofoam. So addressing clause 2.3, I've used weights as well. So this base layer is the heaviest layer, and then the middle layer is the second heaviest layer, and then the top layer styrofoam nice and light.